Hello everybody! For the second challenge of the Next Face Awards Portugal, I decided to transform into an Andy Warhol inspired pop art painting. If you've been following me, you might know that I actually entered the contest transforming myself into a painting and I love this type of optical illusion. Just this time I decided to go for pop art, especially the Marilyn Monroe painting. First off, I used NYX pore filler on my whole face. There is no need to completely hide the eyebrows, but I do want them really close to my body, so they don't cast any shadows. For that I simply used some stick glue that can be easily washed off with water later on. To set it I used some SFX setting powder. To map out the shadows I used NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Earlier I had taken a picture with the lamp on one side of my face. I used that as a guide to know where I have to draw the shadows. To draw in the shadows I used the matte liquid liner in black for super crisp edges. To fill out all the bigger spaces I used the jumbo eye pencil in black bean. I actually decided to draw the shadows first before moving on to painting all the rest of my face, as I knew I would sooner or later somewhere mess up the lines and would want to correct them. And it's so much easier without any other makeup on. Before completing any of the shadows around the eyes, I used the white matte liquid liner to create the edges of what will be the bright turquoise eyeshadow and filled it with the jumbo eye pencil in milk. While I waited for the white liner to completely dry, I worked on my neck. Now I filled it out with Vivid Bright's cream color in Aqua Sapphire. Then I went back in with the matte black liner to add more shadows and details around the eyes. To create a blank canvas for the pink I used the jumbo eye pencil in milk again. Although in retrospect it wasn't actually needed as I quickly found out that the Vivid Bright's cream colors were super pigmented and they needed no help. But me being used to nails, I always use a white base, so I didn't know any better. <laughs> to color in the rest of my face pink, I used the Vivid Bright's cream color in Love Overdose. Yeah. 
On the side of my face that has no shadows, I created with the liquid liner some contouring. For my lips, I use the soft matte lip cream in Amsterdam, which is actually my favorite red ever. For that whole pop art effect, I lined the outside of my lips with black matte liner. With Vivid Brights in Cyberpop, I created some highlights on my lips. Again with the liquid liner and the jumbo eye pencil, I continued to create some shadows and details on my lips. Next, I added NYX Wicked Lashes number 19 called On Another Level. And look at these, these are so crazy but perfect for this look. I finished by drawing some bottom lashes and adding any missing details. And done! I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe! And on the 26th of May the voting will begin, so I hope I can count on your vote. See you next time, bye!